What's up, baby bards? I'm Ann Richmond, aka Heart Singer, the head bard in charge around these parts. And today, we are going to be reviewing the Wormwood Modular Gaming Table. This is one of those milestone gamer moments. I have dreamed of this for so long. It is a huge investment of money and space. And frankly, I think people want to know whether or not receiving my modular gaming table was worth it. Does it hold up to the hype? So we're going to dig into everything. We're going to talk about unboxing it. We'll talk about the construction process and give my thoughts on the final product. Let's dive in. So my table is a Kickstarter fulfillment. I do not believe that the modular gaming table is yet for sale. Uh, it might be after they finish the full fulfillment of the Kickstarter. I had originally planned to get the cherry wood, um, but as the Kickstarter went on and Tavern Elm was unlocked as an option, I decided to bump up my price point a little bit and go all in for the wood that I really, really wanted. So uh, that did move my price point up about $600. I chose dining table legs, so I didn't want a coffee table version. Primarily, I'd be using it for Dungeons and Dragons, and I wanted to make this table kind of like the mecca for where players would feel super comfortable over long periods of time uh, and able to focus on their creativity. So I chose the medium size, which seats six people comfortably. And frankly, as a New York City apartment dweller, uh, this is the table that fit inside the apartment space that I have. So. There you go. I also got a green felt play surface and a player power pack. The reason for that is because one of my biggest pet peeves is when I go to somebody else's house to play D&D and they don't have an outlet that'll help me, you know, take notes on my computer or my iPad or if like my phone is all I have and it's running out of batteries and I have nowhere to plug it in, uh, then I start to get really stressed out. The power pack has a place where if your phone can lay on it uh, and charge that way, it can and then it has all sorts of different connections to charge different types of electronics in it. When you're looking at the vaulted table, which is to say you've taken the dining room uh, toppers off and you have that sort of interior space where the green felt is, I also wanted to make sure that as a DM, I had plenty of places to put you know, my computer or my dice and my dice tray and, and all of that stuff because I am a D&D &D hoarder. And I think the first step is admitting it. As someone who likes to enjoy a bit of mead or a fun thematic beverage at the D&D table, uh, I did also get five large cup holders in Tavern Elm. And lastly, in order to protect my dining room table toppers, I got a topper block, which is like a big kind of cube with um, foam inside of it to carefully hold your toppers upright when they're not on the table. And I did that uh, because <laughs> even though I could have just, you know, leaned them against a wall or a bookcase, I didn't want a wayward kitty or a giant doofus dog to knock over and damage my very, very expensive treasure. Uh, so I did end up getting that in espresso maple to cut down on costs. It looks beautiful. It just doesn't match the rest of the wood in the table. I paid a whopping $915 for accessories. And that number seems wild, but it really starts to add up quickly. Um, for example, each of the five large cup holders that I got for the table was $75. And they're beautiful, they magnetize right into the side of the table. When you're thinking about budgeting for the table, it's not just the table itself. The thing that makes the table, aside from you know beautifully designed as a table with a vault on the inside, is all the accessories you can kit it out with. So you really wanna keep that in mind when you're thinking about the investment. The question is always with Kickstarter is, how long did it take for this Kickstarter to fulfill its promise? So I was in wave two of pledges, which was uh, estimated to deliver in March of 2021. It's now January, 2022. So there were definitely some delays. My feelings on these kinds of things, honestly, is that it's always a gamble. In some way, it is always a gamble. Uh, when there are a huge amount of pledges for a project like this, it has so many moving parts and different machines that are required. And, um, you know, they haven't produced all these tables at this rate before, and then they're going to ramp up their estimated rate of production. You know, there are bound to be some snafus. Um, then, of course, we had 
<laughs> COVID and everything that comes with that and supply chain issues and shipping issues and labor shortages. Um, that's just all kind of a part of the gig when you pledge a Kickstarter. So why take a gamble on such an expensive project? For me, I trust Wormwood when it comes to fulfillment of Kickstarters. They have a business model, God, God bless them, uh, that's based on doing several Kickstarter launches a year. And uh, they always they always deliver, even if there are delays, like every Kickstarter I've ever backed with them, they've been communicative about it and they have you know delivered the project as promised, even if the timeline shifted. I'm willing to wait um, till it is right until it is ready. That's how I feel about it. If you feel different, um, definitely let me know in the, con the comments. I'm always interested to hear what makes people like pledge to a Kickstarter or even, you know, a Kofi or a Patreon. So let me know what you think. When I posted pictures of this table on my social media uh, last week when all the 11 boxes arrived, I think the biggest reaction was, oh my God, that's a chonker. <laughs> How are you going to fit that in your apartment? Um, guys, I have a measuring tape <laughs> and if you are interested in getting your own down the down the line, you can get it in um, all sorts of different sizes. If you would prefer that people would sit in kind of your living room area and have a coffee table style one, you can have that. They have ones on like bar stool legs if people prefer to stand. They have tables, um, also like the Lilliput, which is super, super small. The coolest thing about this table is that it is modular. You can kit it out and build it in different ways. And if, for instance, in the future, I were to move to a place Let's say, dream of dreams, I move to Seattle and I'm working for a gaming company and I have a mansion because why not? We're, we're fantasizing. Why not go the full, the full way to home ownership? I can keep the aprons at the ends of the table, which are the same, this is gonna be the same length. And I can order um, new longer pieces and new bottom plywood and a new felt topper. And all the other pieces stay the same. Uh, if, for instance, I did want to make it smaller and move it into a coffee table area in the apartment, I could order those pieces and do that. If I want to add a flat screen uh, insert for the inside of the vault of the table so that my players can use animated maps, I can do that down the line. Everything here is built so that you can kind of collect and add on to it, which is so sick. How hard is it to build and how long does it take? Well, I did a time lapse of my partner Matt and myself building the table. So go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. I will preface this by saying that I was terrified of building this. I was like, I'm gonna break this. I've built a lot of furniture in the apartment. Um, Matt has as well, uh, but when I originally pledged for this, Matt, because it was years ago, uh, Matt was not living in this apartment and I didn't think I was going to feel confident trying to build it on my own or uh, necessarily getting somebody else to come over here and commit to building this with me. Um, and so I did end up paying for the white glove delivery service because then I knew they'd like bring it to my door and get rid of all the trash at the end. Um, long story short, in December of this year, uh, Wormwood reached out to me because they said, hey, this table is almost ready. We've discontinued the white glove service, but um, they really did their best to assure me that if I had two people, and at that time I now did, uh, that I would absolutely be able to do this on my own. So once shipping and uh, tracking was confirmed by UPS, I had about two days to prepare for the arrival of the table. A lot of the bulk that caused these 11 packages to look so intimidating when they arrived um, comes from how carefully all the different elements are packed. Um, and I'm sure packing them separately allows them to do a better job of wrapping them, but it's also because it's modular. I'm sure they have whole sections where they're going in their warehouse to say like, okay, let's grab medium elm uh, toppers. Let's grab, you know, uh, elm player pack. Like, so it's all, everything is all sort of, you know, packed separately so they can just go down an inventory list and send it to you together. So, um, once we unpacked it, it was a lot less intimidating. Oh, that sounds great, right? Right. Until enter me, 
the dumbass. For this next little part of the review, uh, I am going to uh, put a content warning here that I'm going to be uh, discussing an injury that uh, I got on my foot. Um, so go ahead and fast forward to this point if you don't want to hear about that. During the process of unpacking the table, I, one dumbass by name Ann Richmond, a.k.a. Hearthsinger, the head bard in charge, round these parts, did step upon a metal packing staple with my bare foot, and it punctured through the bottom of my foot. I screamed like a goddamn banshee. Uh, sadly, we didn't catch it on camera, so we, we definitely didn't do it for the views. I did it for the dumb. Uh, when you're doing a project like this, wear closed-toed shoes. Don't be me. Don't be stupid. This is not something I blame Wormwood for in any way. It is just something that happened. And if you are out there waiting for your table and thinking this is going to be like a fun little date night to build your table together with your partner or have some friends over to build it, uh, don't be stupid about it. Make sure you are, you know, wearing closed toed shoes, you're wearing pants, you're ready to like move things around together. Uh, there, there it is. So after we unpacked everything and we didn't immediately see instructions in one of the boxes, we were a little bit anxious, um, but we did ultimately find them in the hardware box along with like your Allen wrench and your bolts and your screws and all the other stuff you need to build the table. As you can see, you'll end up with your two shorter end shield aprons, then the long side aprons for the table, the plywood that creates the bottom of the vault on the table, all four of your table legs, your uh, toppers, our topper block, and of course our accessories, which we'll show off a little bit later in the video. This was also a time for my puppy Sam to inspect our sweet wooden treasures uh, and also be told no, that these were not toys for him, shockingly, and we sprayed down all the table uh, legs with our bitter apple spray. So if you are someone with a pet uh, for whom chewing is a problem, uh, we found that that's worked for us and we certainly put it to use on this table. Do not be intimidated by this build. There are nine total steps in the instructions. The only uh, tool that you need that they don't send along with it is a power drill, which helps you attach the plywood um, to the bottom of the table with little screws. Um, we put together a lot of furniture in this apartment and Matt and I both agree that this is easily the simplest and most elegant process of any kind of furniture that we've ordered and had to build here. Unpacking the table and taking the trash out was about a half hour project and then the actual building of the table took us like a little under an hour. So it's a pretty easy evening activity. A question I get asked a lot about this table is, is it worth it? Uh, which has a very personal answer. My priorities for furniture uh, in my house are, is this something I'm gonna have to replace within the next couple of years? Because if so, then I'd rather spend more to invest in something I'll have in the long term. Um, and also like, is it going to be beautiful and enhance my experience? So the answer to both of those questions for this Wormwood table is absolutely yes. I will say that one thing that was tough was not being able to go hog wild on all the accessories that I wanted because that's one of the things that makes this table so special. And I did feel limited by the fact that, you know, each of the cup holders was $75 and my player table alone was like $200, $240, something like that. And so when, when that's the case, you can't really just buy enough for everyone. You can hope maybe that once people see it and enjoy it, that they might you know, want to gift those things to you later on or that you can save up and, and add them as you go you know, in the modular style. But at the end of the day, uh, I don't necessarily think that this is worth it for you if you're not gonna be able to you know, back a project like this or spend enough money at the outset to get at least a baseline for the experience you're trying to create in your home. 
And to be clear, you're buying a piece of art when you purchase something like this. Things cost what they cost. It's not just labor, it's design. There's a lot that goes into, you know, your $75 cup holder. So don't get me wrong. This is not a complaint. It's just something to factor into your ability to truly afford the experience you want with your table. The changeable size might be another factor that makes it worth it for other people. If they can't get the big table of their dreams now, um, but they can get a coffee table and that will be useful to them in the meantime, then there were um, woods they could have chosen that were less expensive and you know sizes that would have worked for them in their home. So I think the customizability of it does allow for different experiences and my Tavern Elm was like a mid-tier wood. So, uh, Keep that in mind. It wouldn't need to cost uh, as much as what mine cost if you had gotten something in maple or even espresso maple. So why this table when there are other vaulted tables and there are lots of people who are making their own at home? Um, the artistry and the quality that is evident here from the way everything magnetizes together and clicks into the you know inside of the table or the outside of the table the way the toppers have pads that fit uh, into where the vault begins so things don't shift around um, even like the smooth finish on the wood and the way the wood grain uh, is always so celebrated by wormwood products um, it's just so stunning in person um, mine kind of like ombres across the top when you look at the toppers, which I love. Uh, overall, everything just, you know, fits. It's a beautiful design piece that brings me joy to look at. And it's um, designed with like user experience in mind. This is an heirloom piece. This is something I am going to have forever. And over time, it will be seasoned with storytelling and friendship. And while I won't be playing D&D every single day at it, womp, 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 wah, you know, I love the idea that I will gather here to eat a few times a day and feel that little pulse, that heartbeat of adventure just in my everyday life. That's fun to me. What an absolute monster of a video. Uh, making this was a true celebration of something I've waited so long for. I'm so grateful that I got to share it with all of you. Uh, thank you to everybody who submitted questions over on my Twitter. I hope I got to everything. And hey, if you found this useful, definitely like this video, subscribe, uh, and come back for more tabletop RPG content in the future. I know you'll be seeing more of that table very soon. Um, and let me know in the comments if you enjoy watching me review geek chic items because if so maybe we'll do more of that assuming my wallet can survive it all right guys we'll see you next time right here on heart singer games bye man outside that door there's just a giant piece of hardwood waiting for me to play with it <laughs> i just winked both eyes it's not all right we're done. We're done. We're done. Sam, what do you think?